Ready? Set. Go. Go. Run, run, run. Run, run, run. And happy Valentine's Day. Julie's still at school. She has conferences this whole week, so her, so she's super busy this week. So I'm in charge of dinner. Uh, I think I'm making some spaghetti squash and homemade like spaghetti sauce, I guess you would call it, or pasta sauce, red sauce, I don't know. So make some of that tonight. But for now, me and Kobe are just hanging out. He's He's got his rope. So Julie's not the biggest Valentine's Day person, which I think is awesome because I think it's overrated and stupid and not needed. You don't need a day to do nice things to people. You can just do nice things for people. So um, I was like, do you even want a card? She goes, nope. And Julie's a big card person. So when she said no, I knew she really didn't care. Um, but since she's busy at school, I'll make dinner and that'll be good enough. Why don't, why doesn't she make the day all about me instead of it always being all about the girl? Of course I was kidding. I don't really care, but just as a joke. So she texted me this morning, happy Valentine's day. So that was nice, I guess. Sure. Why not? What is it, boy? Is it a robber? Nope. Just Amazon. Just Amazon. Oh, I did get my truck back this afternoon. They called me and said, everything's good, everything's done. Everything went as planned. They were able to get the drain, the rounded off drain plug out and replaced it without damaging the oil pan. So all that's complete. So truck is back. We're good. Um, and I'm gonna have to check it, but I think that was maybe what was causing my truck to drip a little bit of oil spots on the driveway where I park of oil just dripping a little bit. I was never low on oil, but it was dripping. So my thought is that maybe they didn't get it all the way tight because they rounded it. And then the guy just said, good enough. He didn't want to deal with what they did do to fix it. So, but yeah, the truck's back. It's good. Um, it's filthy though. It needs a wash. Hopefully the next nice day that I'm off, I can wash it. So. Yeah, I think we're gonna make dinner here. Ju Julia actually just texted me and said she'll be home in like 45 minutes. So, uh, gotta get after that spaghetti squash. Spaghetti squash takes a while to cook, so. Let's go, let's go make dinner. Come on, go, get in there. Get in there. Good boy, good boy. Anytime he comes in on the first ask, I give him a little treat. Cause sometimes he likes to be a butthole he doesn't come in on the first time, but at that time he did. So he gets some uh, peanut butter, peanut butter soft chew. Ever made spaghetti squash? It's super easy. That's coming from a guy, even though I'm actually a pretty good cook, but super easy. First, cut it in half hot dog style or long ways or lengthwise. After you've cut it, uh, you want to, what do you call that? Like de-seed it or scoop, scoop all the seeds out like you would do with a pumpkin because interestingly enough a squash or a pumpkin is part of the squash family or is a squash part of the pumpkin family I don't know either way they're related like cousins so scoop scoop all the seeds out spoon is super easy um, but unlike a pumpkin where you might be very meticulous about all the like the little stringies you can kind of see there these pieces um in spaghetti squash that's actually the part that you eat after you heat it up in the oven um you kind of like scrape it again and these this turns into like i don't know what you call it but like the squash is basically a spaghetti style when you heat it up like it'll it'll just be all separated it'll be like like this is considered or equal to like a noodle, right? I don't know if that makes sense. I'll, I'll show you guys, but super simple. Um, next step is oil, salt, and pepper, and then throw it in the oven. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. And the oil is really just to 
keep it from drying out as it's in the oven. So, uh, and obviously you, you could add different spice, remove the salt and pepper. The salt and pepper really doesn't do a whole lot at this point. It's not like it's getting into the actual squash. It's just on the surface. Um, it, you're gonna wanna add some more seasoning later or when you make your sauce, that's a good time to add some seasoning. But for now, I mean, that's re really it. You could probably also do a layer of like aluminum foil or something. I've never done that. Um, preheat your oven. They usually do about 400, some, sometimes 425, depending on the size. Um, this one's pretty small, so I think 400 will be good. So, and then into the oven. I know this doesn't say it's quite at 300. I just, or it's quite, quite at 400. I just threw that um, thermometer in. So, yeah, as that cooks, we'll make the sauce again. Super simple, nothing fancy. I've always hated um, buying pre-made pasta sauce because I feel like they're not very flavorful and they typically, I think, cost way too much for what they are. So I buy just a can of generic crushed tomatoes. Again, nothing fancy. Throw this in a skillet, let it simmer, and then uh, as it cooks or more reduces, um, add, add your seasoning. And that's really it. Uh, for this meal, I typically don't add meat or anything. This is a pure vegetarian, probably even vegan friendly meal too. Um, depending on what specific spices that you use. So, and the cool thing about this is that if you need more is add another can. I think this can was like a dollar 50 or something. So it's, it's not like it much. And yes, I know our dishes are gross. We got backed up on dishes this weekend. So that's on my list of stuff to do. I got to empty the dishwasher, fill the dishwasher or clean it as this cooks. But again, cause this is so, this is a slow process. Like the spaghetti squash has a 40 minutes still and the sauce can just go. So plain time to do some other things or make other dishes. Add your seasoning. Uh, this isn't all of it, but minced onion, black pepper, garlic powder. I think I also did some basil, or oregano, and I don't know what the other thing was. But, the, but again, the thing I like about this is you can season it however you, you want. You can change it every time. You can just try stuff. It's, I don't know, it's just really, really simple. Um, there's a secret ingredient, though, I'll show you at the end that to me really makes it and everything else doesn't matter. But if I had more time, I would have not used canned or bottled minced onion. I actually would have minced up some onions myself. Same for the garlic. I would have done the garlic myself. We have both those things. I'm just a little short on time right now. Um, Cause Julia is going to be home soon. And I do want to try to get the house cleaned up a little bit because it's, it needs some attention, so. But yeah, so I'll mix this all together and let it simmer and reduce. The squash is in there do, doing its thing. And yeah, I mean, that's basically it. Another thing, I was just thinking about this. I know some people add a little bit of sugar to their canned tomatoes. I've never done that. And they say it's to counter the, the bitterness, the bite from the vinegar that's used when they're canning. But I don't, I've never tasted that on any canned vegetable or canned tomato sauce that I've ever used or tomato or just canned tomatoes. So let me know in the comments if you guys do that, if it really does make a difference. I know it doesn't take much sugar. I just don't like really adding any sugar or salt to anything because I don't think it really needs it. I did add some salt to this, um, but not much. So anyway, it's, let me know what your thoughts are on the Okay, time for the last ingredient for the pasta sauce. Now, you don't have to do this, but Julie really likes spicy food and I've grown to like it. Um, I used to not want to go anywhere near anything spicy. But over the last, I don't know, maybe, maybe five years, I've started to enjoy spicy food a little bit more. But last year, my buddy Corey, he sent me the hot sauce challenge. If you don't know what the hot sauce challenge is, it started on this YouTube channel called First We Feast, where 
the guy interviews celebrities as they're eating progressively hotter uh, chicken wings. Um, so the reactions are hilarious. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. But so my buddy Corey, he sent me this box and it has one of the season's groups of hot sauces. So going from the easiest to the most intense, um, these, this one is like nothing. Um, it's vinegar based, it's no big deal. This one is actually really, really good. Um, we actually put this on a lot, which is, well, you can't see it, but it's like, it's like down to here. Um, this one's not too bad. It just does not as taste as good as this one, but this one's not that bad. This is where we really start to uh, get into the spiciness. So this has Carolina Reaper in it. The very first time I added this one to this sauce, I think I only added like maybe seven drops and the sauce was almost unedible. It was just so, so spicy. Um, and then there's even hotter ones like Da Bomb on the show is the most famous. It's not the hottest, but for some reason it just hits you so hard. It's really, really, really spicy. Um, when I actually did the hot sauce challenge when I got these, this one was worse than this one, which is supposed to be, this one is supposed to be like two times the Scoville unit value compared to this one. So, but I had to actually add more to actually taste this. So either I was still on the Da Bomb kick and it was still just kicking my butt or I don't know, but this one, uh, I didn't really taste the first time. And I think this has the um, Pepper X or whatever they called it. I don't know. Anyway, so I'm, I'm gonna add a little bit of this black garlic Carolina Reaper. Um, I probably only do like four, four drops. Cause like I said, the last time I, or the first time I did this, I had like seven or eight and it was a lot. So I'll add maybe four, stir it around, let it simmer. But yeah, that's, that's really it. That's the entire meal. It's super easy, super quick. One more for good luck. Also, I was just thinking about this. Uh, if you want Julie and I to record a hot sauce challenge that I talked about where we get some, some chicken wings and go through these sauces, let us know. Um, I'm definitely op open to it. I'm pretty sure Julie tried the top two sauces, the De Bomb and the Hellfire. Um, but, but I don't think she officially did the challenge. So if you wanna see us do, do the challenge and record it, let us know down in, in the comments when maybe we'll knock that out uh, like this weekend. Hello. Hi, buddy. You're early. I am a little early. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. Aw, thanks, babe. What did you make? A in process clean house. Aw, thanks. And by in process, I mean I've just done the dishes so far. And you vacuumed? No. Oh. I just picked up the strings oh. from from his rope. Oh, okay. Well, thanks. And I'm cooking. Yes. Yes. They're already aware of that. Oh, okay. Great. <laughs> Wait a second. We said this was all about me this year. It is about so you. So what did you get me? My love and affection. Sick. She keeps distracting me from my my spaghetti squash 101. I'm leaving you. Finally, she leaves me. Wow. So you take it out of the oven. It's been about 40, 45 minutes. Julie came home early, so it messed everything up. But basically, to tell if it's done, you just start. It's easier with two hands, so give me a second. Definitely done. So yeah, I just, that took like three seconds. If it, if it comes apart easily, then it's done. If it comes apart in like clumps still, or like big chunks like that, and doesn't separate, then uh, you need some more time. But these look pretty good. Um, but yeah, you just keep scraping, get in there and, and uh, scoop it out into a bowl. And then that's really it. Like, like that's the noodle.
compared to like spaghetti. Um, yeah, that's, that's definitely done. And our sauce is definitely, definitely ready. Um, go ahead and cut this off and that's it. <laughs> what? You just want my reaction? Why'd you just make out with that? It's good. It's the spice level. It's spicy, but not too spicy. Too spicy for you. That last drop may have been, or that extra drop may have been one too many. I mean, it's definitely got a kick to it. It's like six drops. Of? That Carolina Reaper one. Oh, you used hot sauce. Yeah, I'm hmm. used to. Hmm. I mean, I enjoy it. I just, I told them that the first time I used the sauce, I did like eight drops and I almost couldn't eat the whole pan. Yeah. So I was going for like five, but then six fell. So there you go. Okay, well, I uh, am on the couch now, but I got spoiled, even though we said we weren't doing anything for Valentine's Day. But it was so nice after a long day at work. I was there for what, 11 hours to come home to a clean house. This way? Too far. <laughs> Dan's coaching me on my video skills over there. Um, anyways, it was nice to come home to a clean house, to a meal almost ready to go, and um, yeah, I even though we jokingly said it was going to be all about him, it was nice that uh, I came home to that. So, I think we're just going to chill. Dan is... Gonna keep playing with Kobe over there. Yeah. And uh, yeah. I'm not gonna be very exciting tonight because I'm tired and got a long week ahead. So I'm gonna chill on the couch, watch some of the Olympics, and we will catch up with you guys later.